Hey y'all, welcome back to the craft castle. Okay, today we're going to attempt to sublimate some dog collars. I am excited yet really nervous about this because I don't really know how well this is going to turn out. Only because there is all this plastic that's on here and there, it, I don't know. And this portion right here is longer than my actual print. So I'm going to have to smush this together and hopefully make a seamless print. I don't know if I can do that. Also, um, when I sublimate this, I am going to, I already cut out my dog's name. His name is Mac. It's going to be in like a teal turquoise color. This right here in sublimation prints, they always come out a different color and then they become more vibrant after you print them. So hopefully this right here matches the blue that's in here. But first, we're going to have to trim this up just a little bit and smush them together and hopefully make a seamless print out of it. So I already have my print done. It's just a basic fall pattern that I was able to find offline and probably to do straight cut. It's probably best if I use a guillotine for this. Okay, so kind of want to make sure that I get a lot of good fall colors in this. What do you think? Hmm, this right here will work. So I'm just going to trim that. Okay, so there's that. And then let's see if we can match up a little bit. We got an acorn, acorn. Ooh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. I think I need to print another paper. Okay, while well, I wait for this to <laughs> reprint, I think I'm going to need a second paper because this right here is different than this. And I can't seem to be able to line this up where it's going to be perfect. So if I do another one, I'll be able to do, I'll be able to carry the pattern down. This is Polytapes HTV. It is a breeze to weed. I love it. Cuts beautifully every single time and is so easy to weed. I am not a person that likes to deal with HTV very much because it is terrible to weave, but Polytaste HTV is hands down the best. The width of the dog collar is an inch, so I did um, 0.75, so three and a quarter inches. And whenever we're done doing this, I'm just going to put his name somewhere. First, I'm gonna adjust it. After we're done pressing it, I'm gonna adjust it and to his neck side size and then I'm going to place this wherever I think it needs to go but I think it'll look cute off the back of the print yes fabulous hopefully we can make it seamless and it'll look really good all right now that I have a second sheet I am going to cut this in the same width that I cut this one just to make it easier and more manageable so I did it just shy of three I'm gonna get rid of the excess that's over here. And then, let's see, we're gonna line these up to where they're going to match up. So I have just a little bit of that white border. So I'm gonna chop that off and I'm gonna line this up as best as possible. Okay, just taking a little bit of heat transfer tape put it on this side and then I'm also going to do it on this side. Now I'm not too terribly concerned about the tape being on the actual pattern because the collar itself is only one inches and these are not going to touch that portion of it so I'm okay with that. So now that it is stuck together I'm going to close this over. I'm going to flip this over and I'm just going to put this two next to each other. All right. There's really nothing I'm going to be able to do about that. We'll just give it an extra good pressing. Okay, now we're going to line this up with... Okay, we'll do that. And I'm going to trim this because I don't need this entire length. You're going to want the pattern to lay flat. So I'm going to trim this down just so it won't interfere with the metal buckle or the actual plastic buckles. So it needs to be... And I'm not too worried about like a straight line. See how it's gonna lay nice and flat and avoid this plastic buckle or this metal thing? That's exactly what we're looking for. Turn this back around, line up. Because I have no fonts, I'm not really worried about it feeling like 
it's center because this is just a design pattern and some of them are going in different directions. So it's okay if you don't put it directly center onto your pattern. That's why I chose to do the name in HTV instead is so I'm not gonna be worried about it being cut off. Okay, now that we have that, it should just be normal, regular steps of sublimation. Okay, we've got a little bit of paper. You want to make sure that it's long enough to cover your print. You don't want your print to be hanging over. You'll ruin your pressing mat or your heat press plates. Just like this. And then just like with everything else, oop, I made it a little bit too long. You want it to lay flat. Just like with any other sublimation project, you wanna create a sandwich like this. Now, the print side is on the bottom, so when we go to press this, we're gonna press this, turn it around. Print side is always up. So today, I'm using my Craft Express portable heat press. The reason for that, generally I would use, if it was sublimation, I would use my massive heat press, but my platen is bigger than this right here and so i don't think i'm going to get a really good press with it because it needs to go in between here it needs to be flat put this on my pressing plate make sure you have that sandwich put in okay this on before i before i go to press this on all of craft express's um products they give you exactly what you're buying but then also your sublimation settings so this one says at 374 for 60 to 90 seconds so i'm doing 374 for 80 seconds. I'm just gonna put that on there, press go. The coolest and weirdest thing about the Craft Express heat press is that it vibrates. Now, Vic, the owner of Craft Express, expressed to me the reason why is so it can get a really good, even distributed pressure when you're pressing. I don't really know too much about all of that. All, I've never had a heat press that vibrates. It is kind of interesting, but um we'll see we'll see if it if it looks really good it's like the longest 80 seconds of my life right here and we're gonna have to do another one because we have an extra layover okay now that that's over all you need to do is pick this back up we'll slide this down a little bit pick this back up and you want to get that leftover spot all right we are done gonna press that doing the heat press it makes it very hot in my office okay we're gonna open this up and peel this away and see what it looks like Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at how cute that is. And the blue turned out to be turquoise. So this is like a prime example. Look at, it's like a royal blue here and then it turned into a teal blue, which this is what it looks like on my computer. When you print it, it looks completely different. Oh my gosh. And you can't even see the seam. There's no seam where we put the, <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love this. Okay. So I am going to put this on my dog. Oh my gosh. Look, it went through. My ink bled through even with my sandwich. I even put some ink on my pressing mat. That's obnoxious. Okay. So I'm going to put this on my dog and I am going to make it fit him. And then I'll be right back to put on the little name. All right. This is the fit of my dog's neck. He's a big dog, so he, he has a really fat neck. And I'm just going to line this up. I think I'm going to put it at the end so it doesn't cover all of this teal. I don't want to put it, or should I put it right here? Mm. No, I'm going to put it here on the end. Okay. The beauty of Polytape HTV, not only does it weed a breeze, but it presses super quick. So all I'm going to need to do, I don't even need a timer for this. Just push it down. Look at that, within seconds. Okay, always, always, always do another press. There we go. And then you're done. That is the end of that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. Now he has a fall collar. I love it. The only thing that is a bummer is that there's black here. Like the ends are black. I mean, I wish that it was all white. So when he wears it, I mean, my dog is black, so you, it, you know, it'll blend in with him. But like, if you had a white dog, 
you would have all this black right here. So I really wish that that was white and I have no idea what this is for. What's this for? I don't know. But like, I love it. I love how cute this turned out. But again, downfall is, is that you have a little bit of black left over here and here. For my dog, because he is black, it'll match, but, or it'll blend in, but that is the only downfall. But this turned out so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, love it. I am obsessed. All right, y'all, I will see you later, and I hope I inspired you to make.